Uh, I took out the front and the rear suspension, and then uh, currently, and then I cut the fenders, obviously. Um, a lot of shit had to be custom made in the back because parts were rusted on. <laughs> but I, it's safe, but it's like, I don't know, it's custom. So let's go see. We took the springs out and uh, put a hockey puck in as like the bump stop, and that's been done in the past obviously we figured that we would just give it a little bit of height because the rear end is actually going to be lower than the front we're pretty sure once we get the wheels on we're waiting on caleb to bring them and then we'll lower it down and, and see how it sits then we just got to mock up the fender flares well put the fender flares on the front and then also cut the rear arch out to put those flares on but you can kind of see there's the pot oh is it gonna focus maybe maybe not that's the puck anyways. So I think that's what we're doing tonight. And then we also have a little chandelier thing we might mock up. I'm not sure we might get that done. This is a Tuesday about two weeks before the event, right? How long? It's like two weeks. So we got quite a bit to do. The livery is fully designed and done. We're gonna install that, but we won't unveil that until the final video of us actually going to summer touring. So we'll kind of just keep that on the low for now. But yeah, the car is coming along. We'll get it all done. It's just like a bit of a scramble when, you know, we're doing so many things. We both, me and Connor work full-time jobs. And then obviously at night I run after hours and do everything that's involved with that, with the team. So there's just like a lot of things going on at all times. Tuesday nights are usually my night off. So here I am, here we are. Although there's gonna be fender flares covering the fender cuts, we still want it to be done properly and not rust and be shitty. So we're gonna to try to make it look as good as possible under there. <laughs> Two more Canadian hockey pucks from Canadian Tire. <laughs> True Canadian style out here. 446, more money to spend on, uh, wow, <laughs> saving money so we can spend more money on other cars and get actual coilovers. These puppies right here, best bang for your buck for slamming your car. Let's see those instructions they gave us. There's no instructions. These, I made them myself. Oh. On off door. Oh, come on. What the fuck? Calum brought the wheels and he just put them on the car. Ignore the two lug nuts, he says. There'll be more lug nuts. And then Connor is uh, just putting together the light. We just tested it on the Tiguan's battery and it works because the battery in the GLC is dead. So we will drop it down and uh, jump start the car and see how it sits. Um, obviously there's fender flares going on it, but I'm excited to see this, dude. Good? Yeah. Yeah, it's sitting on the tire. <laughs> that's it? Yeah, that's what I thought. Well, no, it's probably not actually. It's just we cut the fender. I was just going to say the fender's cut off. <laughs> Okay, so that's what it looks like in the rear right now. Um, we're gonna obviously have to cut that lip off the flare. That's it's good though. That fits great. Oh my god, still not enough. Still not that's enough. Not good. Really? Yeah. Another hockey puck, maybe. I'm not doing but that sucks. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> oh, perfect fit. That's what we call a slap shot, buddy. <laughs> Second hockey puck installed. We just no, like, wanna, like cut a keyhole. <laughs> What 
We added the second hockey puck and the ride height's perfect. Check it. Beautiful. It's so stiff, you could dribble this car. <laughs> All right, so we are going to roll the car out, jump start it, and then see how it drives just around in the parking lot. Oh, you're good. We're good? Three. Like that half an inch higher in the rear, but it actually looks good like that. What do you think, Connor? I think it looks great. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? I think it's good. It's it drives. Rough. Yeah. It runs, it drives, it's good. And that classifies as a lot of clearance. If you look at my Z3, which is on a full BC Racing coilover system, it has no clearance. And that's static all the time as it's supposed to be my daily. It looks really cool. But it's crazy that like... It's crazy this thing's on full coilovers and it's that low. And then the Mazda has got no suspension and it's not even as low. What are you doing? Good. Ooh. Yeah, actually, it's like, oh, that, looks so that looks sick, dude. Yeah, but... <laughs> oh, dude, that's fire. <laughs> All right, so it's day two of the fender removal. Uh, fender removal. Suspension removal. And we're going to install the fender flares now. And then that'll be like the end of this video until the next time when we're doing the arrow and the install. Grab those pipes, buddy. Wait, I gotta shine them up. Let's see. Spin them around. Ooh. Those look sick. The flared end looks so nice. Beautiful. So what are we doing with these? Center exit? I think center exit. Or go like this. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. We could do that. It's not like the door's open in anyway. Then they would have to like bend pipe out though. I know, I and know. then like weld it to the door or something. <laughs> I think it would be fine if you had to support underneath there. We're either going to do a side exit like that or a center exit right out the back middle and like stagger them. Not sure yet, but uh, let's get to mounting these things. It looks like we'll still looks like we'll still be able to turn. Oh yeah. Rivet the uh, the chandelier on. <laughs> well, really? <laughs> yeah, because it wouldn't go on. Clip drill open. Oh go. yeah. Oh, it's fucking mint, but yeah, dude. Yeah. 
that's good. So where do you think that's good? Okay, I got enough money. Hell yeah, dude. Very fun. All right, so we got all the fender flares on. They look very nice. You happy with it, Connor? Yeah, I am happy with it, yeah. It's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, it looks really good. We were talking about putting smaller tires on it but honestly looking at it now if we put any smaller tire the wheel gap would be huge so in the future the next spec would be a wider wheel like a 10 or 12 j yeah and then just like a square fitment tire uh so it just looks like that style at the time but right now this looks really good then in the next video we're gonna obviously put on the i don't know what else is there gonna be in another video because we don't want to release the livery until livery livery until like the end. No, but you could release a video like on the day of touring. Yeah, so the next video- the night of touring. Yeah, so the next video is gonna probably be us then, like Connor says, on the night of touring and taking this thing down to Vancouver. And until then, we still got the headlight cover to put on. Actually, maybe we'll film another video with the arrow, if we do the arrow. Yeah. Like we're gonna do a front chin splitter thingy and uh, and exhaust. Great. Until next time. <laughs> Bye. Bye.